everyone welcome to another video for add-on showcase and this one we have some innovative add-ons that add some uniqueness to ghetto add-ons so let's get started GD script code upgrader lets you upgrade your ghetto 3 code into ghetto 4 code it fixes syntax errors signal connections and a lot of changes that were made from ghetto 3 to ghetto 4 so it's a really good approach and it's a work in progress plugin but definitely a really solid idea and definitely recommend rewind 2d is a kind of an innovative 2d plugin it lets you rewind not just rewind actually act, lets you manipulate the all of the things about time in your game uh, there were really good documentation that explains how it works and I think th we definitely need to work on this plugin. Point2D adds the functionality of the Point Light 3D into 2D. It lets you customize your light using gradients with a lot of options to customize your light and there were a pretty good demo scene too and I would love to have more of these ion and thank you to the creator for commenting down on the video and recommending this amazing add-on so yeah let's move our next plugin is orchestrator it lets you create visual scripting inside of the ghetto 4 game engine as you might know the visual scripting was discontinued in ghetto 4.0 and the developers haven't any answers about it coming back or things like that. So, Orchestrator lets you do all of these things inside the Ghetto 4 game engine. So, it's a really good add on to be honest. Node to Tile is a pretty unique add on. It lets you use simple planes and create complex shapes out of them. But the the way I get it is it's a 3D tile system. So you use 2D tiles in 3D world and create shapes out of them and customize them. It's really cool. And uh, it's similar to a software I heard called Crocotile. And uh, to be honest, it has a lot of features. And the software is paid. So it, the Gido community is giving you a paid software for free and built in inside the Kido game engine. The add-on has a lot of potential and I definitely would recommend you to try it out at least once. It got a lot of features and you can check it out on GitHub and the asset repo repository. Hey, that's it for today's video. If you want to support my work, you can support me on Patreon. Also, you can subscribe to the channel and like this video, which will help this channel a lot. Till then, goodbye.